So this is the old radio. This thing is like 10 million pounds and about half the size of the uh, new one. I think Diego should put some PAs on his truck because I'm about to do, kind of want to do the same thing in my Jeep. You already have PAs and you take the top down and then you just turn it up. Yeah, I guess. It's already a PA system. I guess. I can't take the top off right now. It's raining. Put down in the comments if you think Diego should put some PAs on his truck. I think he should. And squat it too. Might as well do that. All right, so Diego just got all the wiring done. Um, fortunately, it is a little dark, so I'm going to have to try my best to record this. Yeah, right now we're just kind of putting the radio in and doing all the little stuff. Yep, everything's done. Heat shrink. Not soldered, but it'll do. Yeah, well that just gets on there, slap, slap the radio in, put all the trim back in, we're done. All right. So would you need that? Yeah, you're just gonna cut it off? Yep. That's the like uh, ground. factory ground. Okay. Honestly, I would've probably just kept it clipped in there. Just tucked it back instead mm -hmm. of cutting it off. Why? I gotta I mean, put the ground from this harness on. Oh, here. you're right, you're right. Okay. Sean, you already went over this yesterday or two days ago. Or was that yesterday? I don't even remember. Oh. How hard was it to take the trim off and all that? Was oh. it? Oh. This lead pops out. Then there's uh, there's one, two, three, four screws in the door panel. Okay, so we know that. Yeah, there's no screws for the bezel. The radio's it just not. Just pops out. Yep. Yeah, you put your steering wheel all the way down, you put it in like one or drive or whatever, and then you pull it up. Mm -hmm. Microphone checkup. All right, this dude's gonna be a ricer and keep the plastic on. <sighs> no. <laughs> like, I can't, like, I like can't stand that. Like, it has to, you know? Yeah, come off. There you go. See, what you're supposed to do is hook it up, then turn it on to make sure everything works. You know what I'm saying? Knowing Diego, it's gonna be right first time. Oh! Cancel demo. How do I do that? Maybe yes. Yes, cancel demo. We don't want a fucking demo. Demo on. Slip. Boom! Oh shit, you know that didn't plug in? The antenna? Yeah. Wow. Cut the clip. Duh. It's the antenna in there. What? Oh, oh wait, no. You gotta get it in the hole. There it is. Yeah, you're gonna see just stick right in. Boom, now we're ready. All right, take two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was also about to be like, what the fuck? I like the little clock. I don't think mine has that. Yeah. Wait. Where you put it? Yeah. Price Jeep is pulled up. Oh, shit. Alright, guys, so this thing's junk. He's not here, so I'm talking crap. This thing's junk, so it's not, I don't know, I guess the rear speaker's not hooked up or whatever, but uh, I guess he's gonna hook something up right now. This thing's junk. What? Yeah, I hook up a freaking multimeter. To this well, thing. I'm fucking sorry. None of these fucking speakers worked when I got it. Obviously, they don't work for a reason, so I'm trying to figure it out. Weird. <laughs> so he's uh, hooking up a speaker, and we're just going to test it and see if it works. Honestly, I think this thing's going to blow up like a freaking nuclear bomb, but. Hopefully. <laughs> Honestly, I got insurance. Not no full coverage. I mean, it's enough. It's parked at the house. It's un <laughs> under one vehicle. What's that? Usually, you make like a beep, beep, you know, 
it makes a beep sound. Okay. So why don't we have power? Here. Oh, there you go. No, that's that car. Oh. Special. Hold on. Oh, I guess that's, that's the like song. the song. Yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, this light's pretty bright, but um, kind of doing some diagnostics. Yeah, that's how you say it. Diagnosis, whatever. So, uh, you know, we got the King of Electric. Can work a freaking multimeter. I can't work a multimeter, but um, tested out this amp down here. Down in that over there, and the amp's not blown. So apparently, there's another amp inside the, the like the factory amp. And we think that's blown, but we're having trouble finding it. But basically, we're just not getting, what, like power to the speaker or whatever? Yeah, speakers aren't getting power, so we're kind of trying to figure that out. All right, guys, so after like about 15 minutes of searching, found the amp for this thing. There has to be a fuse on the amp. Oh, shit, how do we get that bitch out? I hope there's not screws up here. Oh, dude, that thing is like, yeah. It's like a legit amp. Holy shit. Cool. Let me see like the bottom end of it, but yeah, it goes up. Like I can't get my hands any higher. It goes up there. Damn. Ow. All right. Uh. Well, we found a culprit. I'm gonna do some more cussing, and then I'm probably gonna find out how to get a test on it. It's like plastic. Oh yeah, dude. Yummy. I got a fucking vacuum also. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're back. Why did I take this out? <laughs> There's not even a fuse on it. So we got the uh, amp finally out. Took us only a long time. Dude, Infinity? Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good brand. Mm. That's how many amps is that? Damn, one hook. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna just test right here. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I said earlier, but um, we figured out that the amp is blown. We're getting power through the wires, which is good. So. Um, this amp is blown, but the thing we can't figure out is why this thing doesn't have a fuse of some sort. So, we're about to open this Johnny up and see what's inside of it. They go saying there might be like a mechanical kind of thing, like a button or something. A breaker. Like a, yeah, like a breaker kind of thing. Dude. Hey, it's blown up. Why not figure it out? Yeah. Dude, there's like a hundred million dollars in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why it doesn't work. It's like not getting connection or something. We're going to dealership, maybe. How would there be a hundred million dollars in there? It probably like had, it had to be a check. Or a check. I mean, I found a lottery ticket in the door. Yeah. One dollar. Next time I go to South Carolina, I'm getting my dollar. So the thing is bolting this side, yeah. Yeah. I was just looking. Oh yeah. <laughs> About to take this thing to the Dodge dealership. Be like, man, what the hell? <laughs> The hell's this shit? What kind of ancient technology is this shit? Man, you think the, the Dodge Brothers would approve of this shit, man? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? So after doing some searching of this thing, found this little spot right here. Whether that really means anything. Looks kind of like a stain to me, but... Dave's gonna go grab the multimeter and check out resistance. And I'll let you know how much it costs you. Right on. Alright, bro. Alright, my dog. Appreciate it. No problem. See ya. Bye. Friends in higher places. For real. Ethan coming in clutch. So, um, Dago just called one of his buddies. He works at Dodge, right? Yeah, he, drives from Dodge. yeah, he works at the dealership. So, he's gonna, Dago's gonna send him the part number for the amp and see if they have it or see if they, they sell have it. it. Can get, can get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, all those parts you see back there, except for the felt pressure shit, is from Dodge. Yep. They still carry stuff for Dakotas. 99, or 97 to 04 Dakotas. Huh. Okay, this, that light is like not happening. So, uh, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't have these. Like, you know how I many of those Durangos are fucking floating around? Yeah, true. And it seems like this is a fucking common occurrence. Yeah. I'm going to see on the Facebook page if it, uh, people have the same problem. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's. I bet you all gonna say, "Uh, delete it, bypass it." Oh yeah. 
I don't want a wire anymore, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's so many wires coming out of there. And it's just a simple fix. You just get my nose and then slap it in and you're good. And Conrad just uh, took a screenshot of it. So. Really good? Two boys at Mopar. I don't even want to put it back together. Well, you see, you might well not. It's broken. Right. Like a part of me thinks like, what if it's not? But it is. No, yeah, we tested. We did. We but tested. What if it's it? not. And it's just like that's like we didn't even have to take this out. Really, power in, no power out. You know what I mean? Like that's just like you could have figured that out. Maybe it took me like, probably like two days, but actually I wouldn't have even like looked at it. I would just taking it out and freaking hard wires or whatever. Honestly, I just I only took it apart. Or something. I only took it apart to see if they had like you know if it had. Some sort of fuse in it, because mm-hmm. that, like I said, man, protection device. If it had one, it would uh, it would work, but it doesn't happen, so it didn't work. So guys, as the camera was charging, we put um everything back together. Uh, we put both door speakers back in. Uh, we stuck the radio in, the dash centerpiece in. And the only thing we have kind of taken apart is where the amp goes, obviously, because we need to buy a new one. Um, what do you think? Huh? How's the radio? Oh, it's hot. Yeah. It changes colors, which mine doesn't do, so I'm kind of jealous, but... <laughs> yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, like I said, we're kind of waiting on the amp to really test it, the speakers, but... Yeah.